I don't need no smoke and mirrors to bring you nearer from across the room. And I can see past your makeup and perfume. And without leaving this stage, I can accompany you home. But that's nothing. Because every time you sip your drink, I taste your suffering. And I'm not talking about some man who played you because I play too much deeper emotions like your eyes. And even in this light, they can tell me whether you're worried if you're raising your children right. Or whether you're concerned that you might stay out too many nights. Or whether you're obsessed with success and stressed that you're wasting your life. It's like I'm some circus freak. Like, from this stage, I can guess your age and your weight. But trying to guess people's sizes and birth dates is fake. And what I'm telling you right now is as real as your tears and heartache. And I've been around the block enough times to know when a woman has regrets. When there are things she wishes she could hide and embarrassing situations that she hopes to forget. Like you don't recognize that ain't nobody in this room perfect and your life might just be as good as it gets. And you're looking at magazines and TV wishing you had some famous woman's life. Knowing it would never be worth it for you to pay the price and all the principles that you cherish or all the values that she sacrificed. And me... Sometimes known for love and erotic poems that flow like Hennessy and hypnotic porn that even in this room full of women could get you hot and warm like my tongue when you ain't got nothing but my words and chocolate on. But that's a bluff. Speaking sex to a room full of women when I know if I have you, then I have enough. And my sweetest taste in poem would be your smile. And my most passionate applause would be the way that you're looking at me right now. And I feel scarred. Like falling in love with you could jeopardize my relationship with God. Because only the everlasting should be loved eternally. And perhaps a man and a woman shouldn't love that hard. But here we are in this venue where all these writers come to perform. Like they don't know. If I have you, ain't no need for none of us to write no more. Because whoever sees my love for you will already have seen the perfect poem. <laughs>